We will read from Radharas Sudanidi, verse number 107. O Shri Rade, when will you give me the festival of qualification to listen to your tender intimate talks with your king of debauches, womanizers, Vitendra Shri Krishna, to take you by the hand to the fresh love bed and to rewind your braid that was loosened during your love play. O Sri Rad, when will you give me the festival of qualification to listen to your tender intimate talks with your king of womanat, womanizers, Vitendra Sri Krishna, and to take you by the hand to the fresh love bed and rewind your braid that was loosened during your love play. So this verse is ex depicting very intimate lilas which are going on in very intimate, most confidential, most intimate place. And it is Nivriti Nikonja. Why we know that this is Nivriti Nikonja? Why it's not Kunja or Nikunja? How we know that? This is the most confidential and intimate place, sleeping room, we can say. Because Prabhupada Saraswati, in the form of King Kari, he is saying, I want to listen your tender, intimate talks, my dear brother, with your beloved, who is, by the way, a womanizer. And these tender, intimate talks are going in Nivriti Nikunja, in the sleeping room, where Radha Mohan are exchanging their love and in this sentence Prabhupada Saraswati is trying is to little joke with Radhika's beloved, calling him Vitendra Sri Krishna, Debushes or womanizer. So it's revealed how Manjaris are also closed with Krishna. And also reveals that this kind of jokes, Manjaris are talking only in Nivriti Nikunja. 
when their others are gopis, sakis are not present. So Kinkari very freely, without any shame and hesitation, wants and pray to listen. These tender, intimate jokes between Radha and Mohan, calling Mohan Vitendra, womanizer. And this is the sublime position of Manjaris. No one can talk such words more sweeter, more relishable than intimate Radhika's maidservants. And for this reason, Prabhupada Saraswati is playing to Radhika and he is praying for the festival of qualification. So we heard so many times that qualifications are required, certain qualifications are required to go back to Godhead, to go in Vaikuntha, to come closer in Vraja. Certain qualifications are necessary that person can become Radhika's maidservant. But which kind of qualifications are? This kind of qualifications we can say are the result of different emotions, spiritual emotions, which are present in eternal Radharani's maidservants. From these emotions, pure loving emotions, unlimited qualifications appears. Emotions brings qualifications and emotions brings qualities. In material world, we can see that person can have many qualifications, not only one, two, three. But it doesn't mean that he has deep emotions. It's very often separate qualification and the, on one side and emotion on the other side. In very rare cases, they are combined together. But in many cases, the more person has a qual material qualifications, we can see that sometimes is less emotions are present in his heart. But in spiritual world, spiritual relationship is completely opposite. Because these spiritual emotions are coming from spiritual body, Siddha Dekh. And this Siddha Dekh is embodiment of bhavas, of emotions, and there is nothing more than bhava, which is present and result of these different unlimited bhavas are unlimited qualifications. This is the quality of Siddha Deha. This is the quality of Swarup to have festival of qualification. Not only one qualification, not only two, three, four, unlimited. Because spiritual world is unlimited and automatically requires unlimited festival of emotions and unlimited festival of qualities. 
And it's possible to attain only in Siddha Dukkha. And here, Prabhupada Saraswati is praying for his festival of qualification. And his festival of qualification means that he wants to be completely absorbed in his kinkari manjari bhav. Many Vrajavasis, uh, I'm sorry, all Vrajavasis, not many, all Vrajavasis, they have also festival of qualifications according to their specific mood, specific relationship, specific bhava. Mother Yashoda has a festival of uh, qualification in the motherly love. Sakis, they have festival of qualifications in their respectful Saki, Gopiba. But here, it requires special, special festival of qualification, because only through this special festival of qualification, person can enter in Nivriti Nikonji. And to attain this special, unique festival of qualifications, qualities, feelings, Kripa is absolutely necessary. By the mercy of Kripa, this festival of qualifications from Radharani from Radharani's heart, from Radharani's all existence, all form, is entering in the heart of her maidservants. And from their heart, this festival of qualifications, abilities, feelings, can be infused in the hearts of sadakas. So to become Radharani's maid servant, it means that sadaka requires special festival of qualification. Ocean of qualification. And no one can obtain that by his own endeavor. It is causeless mercy. It is causeless kripa from the kripa sindhu, Radhe. From the ocean of kripa. This kind of festival of qualifications can only be received and Sadaka is preparing his heart to, to receive this festival of qualification by listening, by Shravanam, Kirtanam and Smaran. And the more he is relishing the festival of, of qualification without any codes is penetrate and coming in his heart. And the embodiment of this festival of qualification is Manjari Swarup. Because only through this person can enter in most confidential room, sleeping room, where Radha and Mohan are laying down on the fresh made bed and they are talking tender, 
intimate talks between each other. And the proof of that is in the next part of the words, where it said, Then, I want to listen first your sweet, tender, intimate talks with King of Womanizers. And then I want to take you by the hand to the fresh love bed and rewind your brain, which is loosened. So this situation is possible only in everything in conjure. And loving pastimes, intense loving pastimes with Radha and Mohan, just finished. And they are talking between each other, preparing the field for the next loving pastimes which are coming in the waves, going in the waves, and coming in the waves. And to be observer of these loving pastimes, to be servant of these loving pastimes, we need special festival of qualifications. Because in that moment when they are engaged in their loving talks, every moment is a festival. <laughs> Radhika and Mohan are living in the festival of their qualifications of the lovers, abilities to make love, to relish the love. And if they are embodiment of festival, of artfulness, their mere servants must be also embodiment of festival of disqualification. And the beautiful thing is that this is the normal position for every soul. To swim and to dive in this festival of love. Festival of emotions. Festival of artful love making between Radha and Mukha. And to serve Yuga Lakishwa. Can someone share also something to continue? I try to make some introduction. I don't know Guru Dev is present or not. Okay. May I continue or uh Goravani you want to say something? I was just thinking about this point. When will you give me? So this actually underlines what kind of qualification we have. When will you give me? So if I'm standing there, honestly, and just want the mercy of Radharani, then she will give me. I don't have anyone. 
I just have the quality that I want to serve. So actually this was giving some impress in my heart that actually it's such a pure situation. These manjuris, they just want to serve Radharani. They don't ask for anything. They don't need their own qualification, their own position, whatever. They don't need anything. The only thing they want is to serve her. And they are well aware that without Swamini giving them the qualification, they cannot. They cannot even really listen to the tender, tender, intimate talks. They are very special, these talks. They are not just some talks. They are very deep, very tender. And to understand them, you need the mercy. You need the mercy of Swamini. Otherwise, you cannot understand them. So we have to go very deep and in a, ven in, in a very uh, sensitive way. And this sensitiveness we can only get by the mercy of our Swamini. Only in full faith when we give ourself Atma Nivedanam. It was just what was moving me in this moment. I just wanted to share. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You just move me in another direction. When you say Atmani Vedan and this, it remembers me that one, this is one of the final of nine Navada Bhakti processes is this nine-folded process of devotion practice. And when you say, when will you give me? So this is the prayer. This is the Vandana. And like Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana has different levels, which depends on levels of consciousness of devotee. Also, Vandana depends on the consciousness, purity, honestly, in the heart of devotee. It's not that every prayer is a prayer. Behind the prayer has to be proper feeling, and consciousness, and like you said, desire for only Radharani. I don't need anything else. Then this prayer is focused, one point. Because we can pray from the body, we can pray just automatically, we can pray because we hurt that is very good, beneficial. But prayer, vandana, means crying. With tears or without tears. When someone has real desire, then his prayers are filled with tears or dry tears. It doesn't have to be visible on the body. In this world, everyone is, practically speaking, everyone is crying. But the point is, I remember one time Gurudev said, everyone is crying. The question is for what we are crying. Materialistic persons are crying for materialistic goals. But spiritual persons, 
are crying for their spiritual identity, spiritual relationship, spirit with God, spiritual uh, activity, service. And when they cry, they, their tears are becoming the verses of prayers. Materialistic persons are also crying because they are hankering to fulfill their materialistic desires. And we can hear they, their cry also through their words, the sound of their words, the meaning of their words. Same thing goes to devotees. And the more devotees, Atma Nivedana, like Gauravani said, his Vandana, his prayer, is coming more deep from deep core of his heart so it's not that every listening is a listening we we heard so many times Gurudev was talking about it sometimes devotees are listening in one year come in, in another go out different kinds of listening are Sometimes we are listening and in the middle of our, let's say like this, in the middle of our consciousness or the mind, we are just trying to think about what we listen. We have our own, immediately our own judgments or conclusions. I like this, I don't like this. Everything is going in the part of the second when we are listening. But this is not a listening. Listening is relishing, actually. Real listening is when what we are listening, the words of Rasik devotees, we open our heart and consciousness to go deeper, to touch our soul. Same thing is with the one thing. Prayer means that we have to do it from the soul so that we can receive the mercy, kripa, to the soul, not to this body. This is real prayer. And when beloved Ishtadev hear this prayer, I am pretty sure that he or she cannot resist than to answer to this poor, loving devotee. I said, Goravani scratched me with his, will you give me and Atmani Vedana? I tried to share something which came. Jayanandaji, you want to help your brothers and sisters? Or you just I'm I'm really seeing your sweet ones. <laughs> and uh, so beautiful. Godabani say qualification and then begging and uh, actually this this age this bonus time because Mahaprabhu came Mahaprabhu hopefully give us mercy Especially, he does not care qualification. <laughs> this is a very bonus time. Just to 
take it. 例えば、chance it and take it. And this, this bubble of rasarati is, is very, very rare. And one is, one qualification is this art money better. And then Gurudev was saying, how to do this? Atma ni vedana, sometimes we may say so many things. Atma means different meaning. So, I feel this is like our words, our, our thinking, our activity, everything is one point to to think about Radha's Seba, Radha's, Radha Dash's Baba. This is good they saying 24-7. And uh, this is interesting. Who can say Krishna devotee? <laughs> this is really amazing. Manjari can say very strong joke. And even Manjari could chastise Mohan. This is so much love for Radha. Not only Radha, even Mohan also. <laughs> because this Manjari Baba, especially Buraja, is Krishna is not God. Krishna just, uh, Guru Dev's was just, just uh, watchman and the cowboy. So this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful sentence. And uh, we could meditate how to serve in spiritual body. And also in this material, uh, this kind of sadaka deha, also we, we try to do this atmani vedana. This is, uh, I just feeling. Rade, rade. Rade, rade, Jai So, I will continue with commentary of Ananta this Babaji. Yugala Kishore finishes their love play in the arbor, and the maidservant, knowing that her time to serve has come, enters the play bower. Shimati's clothes are disheveled and it looks as if the sweetness of her youthful form is gushing out through them. The fish-like eyes of Nagara Raj swim in the ocean of Srimati's sweet limbs. And the maidservant is immersed in an ocean of bliss. How beautiful is Srimati's loosened braid. The maidservant lovingly rewinds this braid of which each single strand of hair is dearer to her than millions of lives. Without Srimati's grace, 
no one can serve as expertly as the maid servants can. Srimati loves her maid servants more than her own life and so gives the, herself completely to them. Yes, Janam. So this is uh, this wandering, you know, this is a very nice place. So may the servant Manjari loving rewind this braid, of which each single stand of hair is dearer to her than million lives. So why hair <laughs> and uh, this million times, uh, millions of lives more than the dear to her the million of lives because each each hair is not ordinary hair made by Mahababa so and uh, Manjari was feeling this hair is brackish like you know we could remember manjari could remember the past time of jamuna river sometimes it is say this brackish hair is like jamuna and uh, this batak is like a uh, uh, kind of seaside kind of what is say in english you know so and this this yamuna river and uh, many pastime well not only yamuna this blade sometimes mohan like shiringara bata so Mohan find Swamini and he took, he takes care of Swamini's hair. So Manjari could remember all these past times. So therefore, this Swamini's hair is very dear to Manjari because very sweet past times happening in many place in Buraja. So I feel this is, you know, Manjari just seeing Swamini's hair and then, you know, Manjari may say, may sweet pastime, some, some, some glimpse of sweet pastime to Swamini. And then this, this feeling make Swamini swollen in the ocean of Lhasa. And even Manjari also feeling so much, what I say, so much uh, feeling, this bubble of Lhasa feeling. <laughs> Every time this feeling increasing. So therefore Manjari was thinking, this hair is not only hair, this so much pastime happen in this hair. So therefore Manjari feeling this hair is so dear to me. Even million lives, more than million lives, this is so dear. So therefore very carefully taking care of Swamini's, Swamini's hair, even one one hair also very dear, so Manjari take taking care of this. This is kind of, I I was felt. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Thank you very much. By the mercy of Jananda Maharaj, we can go deeper in meditation in bhajan on the Radhika's hair 
and each strand of her hair. Can someone share more something? Because Maharaj just focus us on the hair. What can we do now? We should try to dive in this festival of qualification, which Radhika is emanating from her hair. Please, Garovani. I'm sure that you have to say something. Chainanda Maharaj uh, explained it very nicely. I just want to put light on another side that every hair of Radharani is a deep meditation of her. How to serve that blackish person? How to serve her beloved? In which way exactly? Will she serve him? He could not even expect. So every hair is a deep, deep meditation. And that means it is very near to Radharani. Very near to Radharani. It's her life. And what is her life, of course, is more than the life of the manjuri. But it also means that the manjuri will serve in all these different meditations Swamini has in form of hairs. The manjuri will be needed in all of them. Even one is so precious. What to speak of all of them? That's why they flood. That's why they are compared with the Yamuna River. They flood everything because it's an abundance of deep meditation and rati. So nothing can stand. No family, uh, how do you say, uh, duties, nothing. Nothing can resist. Everything will be flooded. Both families will be forgotten. Radharani is thrown away by all her meditations, how to serve her beloved. And this is resembled by the hairs. So it's very ecstatic for the mandri. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you. It's so nice. Thank you. Such a wonderful uh, gift to us. To meditate yes. that. Thank you very much. It's so nice when devotees are following the mood and sharing according to that mood, which is so obvious. <laughs> and then everyone can relish that mood and increase even more his taste. And this is like a river which is going very strongly and helps devotees to fill their hearts with this feelings and words of our also beloved God brothers. We should appreciate every word of our God brothers because it can help us so much. And we can speak now about hair most probably half hour, one hour, two hours, three hours. And always something new will appear. Isn't it? Everyone can remember something which is very close to this hair of Shimati Radharan. And this is the sharing and this is the churning. 
of the nectar. It's not necessary to rush. Because we can also use this zoom for bhajan, for meditation. And our God sisters and brothers are helping us in that mood. Without Srimati's grace, no one can serve as expertly as a maid servant can. Srimati loves her maid servants more than her own life and gives herself completely to them. Can I little comment? Yes, please, I'm waiting. <laughs> so, Bhagavad Gita says, uh, 18 chapter, 78 verse, last sentence. So, at our normal condition is in, uh, pre in, in the pleasure giving potency. So, in, in the Fradini Shakti, so, all we need, whatever we do, we need mercy of this Fradi Shakti, mercy of Srimati Radharani. Without Radharani's mercy, we cannot do anything. Even Krishna cannot do anything. <laughs> and this is reality. And uh, bhakti's beauty. Actually, I was reading one sentence. I forgot which place. Devotee's business is to serve Krishna or la serve, serving Radha. But uh, what is Krishna's business? Krishna's business is to serve devotee. No other, than, no other business Krishna has. This is really amazing. So similarly, our Manjari's duty or Manjari's like to serve, love to serve Swamini because our life and souls. And then Swamini, what Swami do to us? Swamini could give herself to us. Because Swamini depend on Manjari. Even from morning to night. Always Swamini depend on Manjari. Even bathing. Even eating. Go to Nandagaon for cooking. Go to Abhisar. Completely, Swamini completely depend on Kinkari Manjaris. Without Manjari, that Lira is not, not completed. This is good they were saying, a Gayatri Mantra. 24 and, and a half syllables. So all Lira depend on this Manjari. Because to meet Radha and Mohan need some helper. So this is very, very beautiful. And that's what I say. Swamini loves her maid servant more than her own life. Also, Swamini's maid servant loves Swamini more than herself. This is the beauty of uh, love and the beauty of relationship, Swamini and Manjari. They are like uh, master and servant. They like 
friend. They like mother and children. Or actually for everything. For manjari, swami is everything. More dear than her own life. So this is a very, very beautiful sentence I felt. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. Yes, so beautiful. Without Srimati's grace, no one can serve as expertly as maids and girls can. Without Radhika's grace. Can I do that? Yes, please, Asashwari. Can I share something? Maybe you have to help me with my English. <laughs> um, when you talk about the hairs, to me that they are sitting on the Yamuna. You understand? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. And Radha and Mohan are sitting on the Yamuna and he is combing her hair and the last sunlight and the swans are around and the mantra is too and they fan. Fan her smell of her came to Mohan and he sound and listen to Chen she he said Krishna wants to send this picture a big pity actually Raseshwari it's a big pity that you have some problems with the internet because we couldn't hear your sharing nicely and oh, I'm sure so it was sorry. very very sweet but we couldn't <laughs> Follow this. Okay, Can you repeat it shortly? Yes, because now we now, hear it perfectly. <laughs> okay, okay. I try to do. Yes. I thank you for your sharings. I thank Jananda who shared this this sentence that Krishna is serving us. And before I was in this lila, that Krishna and Radha Mohan is sitting on the Yamuna and he is combing her hair and she is watching him. She looks into a mirror to see how he is doing that. Does he do this right? And her eyebrow goes up and he, she was looking and his fingers were, oh, I don't know, <laughs> cannot hold the camp because cold because he was so uh, in love and ecstasy and and the manjaris come and fan her in front of Swamini and the smell and the smell of Swamini and also her hair smell come to Krishna and he was not able to comp her. He was falling down and and this this was for me also the answer I said how can Krishna serve us how can he do this and this was his serving to us manjaris like he do this in so many ways when he is in love exchange with his dear Swamini or his Radharani <laughs> and we also, as Mandaris, in our Swarup, can relish this. What time went? <sighs> yes, to to observe this love exchange and their games and their lilas. 
thank you for this wonderful sharing from you and this wonderful words. Radhe, Radhe, this is thank thank you. you very much. Radhe, Radhe. You see how devotees are focused just on the hair still. <laughs> we cannot get, get out from the hair. This is the festival of emotions. <laughs> because Radhe, Radhe. it's each strand, yes, each strand of Radhika's hair is a festival of her emotions, which are coming from her heart. And her hair is curly. It's not strength. Chandravali, she has a strength hair. But Radhika's hair is according to her Mahabhava, which always is crooked. <laughs> and her feelings about Krishna are always crooked, like her curly hair. So this is attractiveness. This is enchantment, adbut, in which devotee are diving. And it's so attractive that we cannot go out from this hair. <laughs> and my yes, dear, Kishore, sorry to interrupt yeah? you. Um, today, Radha Mohan, when you look at the deities on the altar of Rindavan, Munga Mandir, her hair is so curly today. It's so yes, beautiful. It, it inspired yeah. me also. So beautiful. So you see, everything is connected. Now, this verse, thank you so much for choosing this verse. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. Kishoriji, you, you wanted to say something. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, the sensuality Didi, you inspire me. And we are today here, little bit missing Dev Shari. Uh, fortunately, I could join this morning sharing in Vrindava. At that time, a little bit connected subject I remember by Raseshwai Dede's sharing. What is Unnato Jwara Rasa means? Babo Rasa Rati. This is one subject of this morning in Gurudeva's room. And Babo Rasa Rati means Manjari want to see for Moha to serve our Swamini. Manjari can serve Swamini directly, but Manjari become more happy for Moha to serve Swamini. This is a Nivrita Nikunja. And this is the beauty of after Goranga Mahaprabhu, subject become object and object become subject, right? And just this morning we talked about this, then this hair come and this Raseshwari did is Mohan combing Radha's hair come. This is what Manjari wants to see. It's very beautiful, intimate leader. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Thank you very much, Bishwarji. Thank you to all of you. With a soft towel, the maidservant lovingly wipes Srimati's face. That is moistened by sweat drops of fatigue from lovemaking and fans her. Then, she serves her sweet water and better leaves to remove her fatigue. And finally, she serves her with the garlands, eyeliner, and the foot black. So in this sentence, it's briefly explained festival of qualifications. How many sevas? Manjari, by the mercy of Shimati Radharani, 
are expertly are doing. First, she's Manjari is using a towel to wipe Srimati's face from the sweat drops of fatigue. Then her fans her. Then she's bringing the sweet water and better leaves for refreshment to remove fatigue. And finally, she serves her with the garlands, eyeliner, which is a little spoiled and food lack. So this is the expertise of Radharani's maid servants because they directly receive the mercy from Srimata Radharani. And in their swarups, they are serving always Radharani. And this is the festival of their qualification of service. And it's not possible. If they don't belong completely to Radhika, and Radhika completely belongs to them. Then infusion of emotions, infusion of the heart feelings, um, infusion of the thoughts, are just circulating between them. And knowing that, Krishna also wanted to taste this manjari bath. Wow. He also wanted to become Radha's maidservant, to receive completely her emotions, but not for him, <laughs> but towards her beloved maidservants. And in that way, again, Radhika is the source of mercy, and because of that, Krishna, be, uh, in, uh, in Krishna's appearance, in his heart, manifested festival of qualifications. Mm. When he became Manjari, when Goranga relished this mood of Manjari, it was the greatest, indescribable festival of love and also festival of qualification for Seva. Wow, beautiful. This, this Seva Rasa is so sweet. So sometimes Mohan was watching how Manjari decorating Swamini. And then he has desire to decorate beautifully. And then he was saying, oh, today let me serve Swamini. I wish to do. Sometimes Radhika say, who can, who can dress me up? And then Mohan said, yes, today I wish to do this. And then Mohan start decorating Swamini. Sometimes hand is trembling. And just touching Swamini. She start trembling like Asta Satvik Baba. <laughs> and so many feelings come, like a Biabichari Baba. So many feelings is coming to Mohan. Sometimes he's out of consciousness. Sometimes fell down. So this is Mohan is relishing 
this serving uh, radical like manjari. So he wished to do more. Then actually I should become I, sh I should steal Radhika's mood. And also, I should steal also Manjari's also. And then he become Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. And then he show us how to practice this, this, uh, Difficult to say. This is Baba Rasarati. Also, this is Radha Baba. This is Maha Baba. So this is very beautiful. Just uh, uh, Raseshwari is sharing also very beautiful. Kishori is sharing also very beautiful. I was just meditating. Sometimes they, you know, Mohan, you know, using comb. Sometimes, no, he does not want this comb. I want to touch his her hair by hand. I wish to. Because uh, Goranga Sunda said, Radhika's hair is sometimes not straight. Because uh, his nature is, Radhika has Bamya Baba, not straight feeling. So, and then Mohan was decorating white dish, jasmine flower. And then that smell is radical smell, radical fragrance. And then that flower is fragrance mixing. Then Yamuna river, no, Yamuna's river's wind coming. So many fragrance come together and then touch Mohan's nostrils. Then Mohan feel more ecstasy. So this is uh, mm. how Manjari is feeling even more than Radhika. So, and this Mohan just get some glimpse of this sevarasa or some amount of sevarasa. This sevarasa is babogurasa rasa. This is beautiful. Gorang, Gorang Sundaraji describes. And I a little bit add Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Mukharaj. Thank you. Srimad Jiva Goswami has said, the Lord wants the living beings to attain an existence full of service. The Lord wants the living beings to attain an existence full of service. Let them learn that happiness lies in devotional service and that everything else is miserable. Hence, the merciful Lord first gives them desire to serve and then blesses them with the fortune of devotional service. The Lord wants to living beings to attain an existence full of service. So this is very important because natural position of jiva is to serve but out of illusion 
Jiva thinks that everything and everyone has to serve her. But Lord Krishna is much more smarter. And he said, let them learn the happiness lies in devotional service. Let them learn that. Sometimes in a harsh way, sometimes in a pleasant way. Anyway, they have to learn that devotional service is real happiness and that everything else is miserable. Everything else. Hence, the merciful Lord first gives them desire to serve. The seed of desire is planted in the fortunate soul by the mercy of Guru. Seed of Bhakti Lata. And this is the unbelievable, undescribable fortune of the soul who is wandering in different universes. Brahmananda Brahmite, Konaba All souls in material world are wandering and wandering and wandering and loitering and loitering in different universes because the soul is not satisfied. She needs to express her love. She needs to serve with love. She needs to live in the place where the natural love is. So it's completely normal that it's never satisfied in any kind of material life and world. And knowing that God, Lord, Krishna is trying to help them. That they understand that devotional service is real and under real, real happiness. And like Baba saying that everything else is miserable. We need faith in these words of Acharyas. And if we really accept this truth, because they are speaking only truth, then it means that we have a faith in the scriptures, because those scriptures are already written by the Acharyas. It means that we have a faith also in them. And then Baba is continuing quoting Jiva Goswami and saying, Merciful Lord first gives them desire to serve, first desire has to appear to serve. It's still not going on. It's still, it still is mixed with other desires. Still is not clear to the Jiva. But these desire to serve, which appears in the heart of the person, is manifestation of Kripa. And then, when this desire, which Guru planted in the form of seed in the heart, starts to grow and grow by watering, then Lord blesses them with the fortune of devotional service. So first comes desire for devotional service and then real direct devotional service is coming and feeling the existence 
of devotee. So this is the process which is described in one sentence, but it is all process from the beginning, middle and the end of devotional practice, devotional goal, but also devotional life. Jai Shri Rade. Um, I was just thinking about this, uh, what it means in practical experience. Because we, we, we always have to serve, that's the nature of the living entity. So usually we serve someone. We serve the family, we serve our uh, company or whatever. In some way, the dog, like Prabhupada said, <laughs> serve the dog. But actually, if we serve like that, we don't make this experience that actually Ananda is coming from it. We don't experience that because from this serving, there is no Ananda. Actually, it's the other way. Usually, we don't feel very good after serving. We, we may feel misused or whatever. So we all have this experience. Not a good feeling. But when by the mercy of Nittai, and Nittai is actually the one who is actually giving us this new perspective, because he is the top servant and here in this realm he is actually our uh, what do you say personal trainer <laughs> so he is actually giving us practical experience i mean practical experience not just theoretically he is giving us practical experience okay Serve first this Guru, for example, do a little seva, and then Ananda comes. Okay, now serve more, now serve in this way, now serve in that way. So in this way, actually, he is giving us the practical experience. Ananda comes out of this seva. And then, because we have this experience that Ananda comes, that means we really feel that love comes back. We don't just give. It comes back to us and it comes more back than we give. We have this feeling. Then we come to the point that we say, okay, now I want to invest my whole life. And then is the right point. To get the chance for that. So we need this practical experience actually. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nitai, the Panchatattva, who came actually to give us this possibility. I no, just wanted to, yeah, go a little deeper in that point, actually. It's a very nice point, because we have to feel this love, that we are really loved. It's coming back. It's not just serving like in a material existence. You give and give and give, and then you feel bad. You give just a little, but you get so much back, and then you want to give more. In this way, we have to have this practical experience. And this is actually Raga Bhakti. This is the path. Wow. So I was, you know, thank you, Gaurabhani Jiji. So I was feeling, now Gorang Sundaraji say, like Bhakti Rata. And I was feeling this bhakti rata is two kinds of rata. And the Baidi and the Raganuga. 
And then it is say, Raganuga Bhakti come from two sources. One comes from devotees, who is Rashka devotees. Another one coming from Lord himself. So this I felt, uh, the merciful Lord first gives them the desire to serve. This is for Raga Bhakti is like greed. Some who are, some who are, some have the, or other, like a Gorabani say, some, something, something happening, practical life, some greed come. Oh, I want to serve more. I want to serve. I want to do this. I want to do that. Then, next things, Lord, Give them the fortune of devotional service. This fortune means Sri Radha's. Good fortune comes from Radha. This, I feel this fortune of devotional service is Radha Dasya. So, what I want to say is this greed come from devotees, Rashka Vajnava or Lord. Sometimes, if we desire, sometimes Lord Krishna give us or Radhika give us. And then we can attain this Radhika's seva, Radha Dasha. That's I felt in this verse. Especially this, the fortune of devotion service. What is the fortune of devotion service? That's the time I just felt. Radhe Radhe. Yes, Maharaj, brilliant point. Yes. First, ordinary devotion is coming. We just desire. And then this seed of desire is growing. And devotee one is wants to continue Vaidhi Bhakti. But real desire which appears in him brings him on the path of Raga. And like both of you explained, ultimately, the most fortunate devotional service, the greatest festival of qualifications, <laughs> is to become in the center of festival. And this is Nivriti Nekonja. Wow. All around is a festival. Everyone is singing. Dancing, gopis are singing and dancing, but in the center, in the middle of this flower of festival, Nikunja, there is Nivriti Nikunja, and the, con the confidential pastimes, which requires festival of qualifications, are going on. And this is the most fortunate kind of devotional service, which we, Jivas in Kali Yoga, simply by causeless mercy received by the mercy of Gorangai. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dears. Oh, should I continue or we can stop here a little bit? No? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. To finish with more sweetness. I will not read to the end. While speaking intimately with her king of debouches, Srimati chose the battle leaves. This intimate discussion is not to be heard by her girlfriends. But Srimati is not at all try to speak these sweet nectarian words to her lover in front of her maid servants. Because she gave herself to them completely. The maid servant floats in an ocean of bliss 
when she hears Swamini's blissful discussion with her Nagara lover. Her eyes are pleased by seeing these pastimes. Her ears are pleased by hearing these romantic discussions. Her sense of touch is pleased by touching Yugala's limbs. Her nose is pleased by smelling their divine fragrance. And her tongue is pleased by relishing Swamini's prasadi better leaves. In this way, all her maidservants, five senses are pleased. I will stop here. It's not necessary to go on and go on. This meditation, how Manjari is relishing through all her five senses, this beautiful scene, this beautiful lila in Nivriti Nikunja, is so tasteful. And in that way, Manjari is through her senses, spiritual senses, is also serving divine couple. And by deeply reading just this sentence, all Manjari Bhava Sadhana can open and can, can be practiced constantly without interruption. Everything is explained. Rade, rade.